Hey YouTube, it's Arab from Studio Riso bringing you another unboxing and installation video of an accessory which I had just bought three days ago and is already here. It's come from India, so all the way from New Delhi, India and these are the side racks and um, saddles, the canvas saddles uh, for my Royal Enfield Classic 350. So as you can see, if I just move my mug away, as you can see, the packing is really good. The way they have packed it, it's amazing. I received it within three days. So I, I ordered it on Saturday afternoon and I received it on Tuesday. So very, very quick delivery. Very happy with it so far, but I'm sure that uh, once we opened it, I installed it, let's see how it goes. So um, I couldn't find a smaller knife. So I'm just gonna try my hands on this one without damaging anything. Um, okay. Let's be careful. Great. Start to take out. Stand up. These are metal bars, so yep, it can stay here. These look like the canvas. Okay, not good start. I had ordered the sand color oh no hang on they are sand color okay no 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 false alarm just ignore me there i thought they had sent the darker color the military green wherein i wanted the sand desert sand ish color right okay so good quality so far it's got enough buckles behind it a little velcro strap very canvasy it should go well with the bike. Right, opening it further, right, good news is that it has got Royal Enfield written here. On the pictures, for some reason, it did not have anything. So I was a bit concerned about what the branding is going to be. Inside, you've got a little bit of waterproofing going on, a uh, shoulder strap, but this is not with what I'm interested in at this point. So I'm going to just fold it. Put it back so times two so far so good this is going to go back in and it can sit on top of the box um, these are the, the main scaffolding as we call it it's going to sit on the bike okay we have some fixing some screws here this one now. okay so you have got one rack here okay the it's, it's got a bit of weight to it um, this is one thing which I've heard that the welding isn't the prettiest looking but the thing is that it is going to stay behind the bike being covered by the bags so um, hopefully I should be able to live with it the initial thought was, the initial plan was to order it from the Hitchcock's website, but um, unfortunately they do not have anything in stock until late November. But I was impatient, I wanted something uh, on the bike straight away, so we will soon find out if this was a good call or not. Okay, so the two racks have come out. Um, just without damaging this, I'm going to take, I'm hoping to have some brackets and some screws. This one's out. I'm going to keep it there as it is. And this. Okay, so I'm hoping everything is there. So bags are there. Um, brackets are here. Fix. Uh, fixings are here 
knife is here, I don't need it. Let's get on with the installation. Here is a quick hack. If you've got an inner tube lying around, just wrap it around the motorbike's frame where it's going to contact with the panel's um, frame. And now over to the left hand side. Right, everything is done and here is a quick shot of before and after. So as you can see, this is as is, no rails, no backs whatsoever, uh, a complete 360 degree view for you. Um, you can see the bike looks quite empty. I like the look, but uh, we have done the installation and here is another video with just the rails. So in case you just hang them and you don't want to put the bags on, this is how the rails are going to look. They stick out a bit. A lot of metal on show and as you can see um, uh, there is a bit of a gap but uh, the good news is they're all symmetrical um, and finally here is how it looks with the bags and rails of course um, I like the look the quality is good um, I'm very happy with it so far let's see how it feels and looks after a while the Royal Enfield engraving or print is looking good um, very quality product bags are sitting very flush uh, very sturdy um, it's got enough give enough support um, but uh, I'm very happy with it you tell me what you think about it if you have any questions as usual 
drop me a line and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.